To install the mount on the Digi case or pretty much any Pelican 1510 case is very easy. Uh, go ahead and flip the case over on its back. And we're going to remove the handle assembly and that's uh, six screws. Once those six screws are out, to release the assembly from the case, you actually need to pull the handle out a little bit because it locks in down here. Pull it up and out. We can go ahead and just get the case out of the way for now. And go ahead and put the handle assembly there. And you'll see on the mount on the bottom side that there's two notches and they're going to line up uh, with these here. In fact, uh, it can only go on one way. If you try to get it on the other way, it's not going to fit. Once you have that on, you're going to go ahead and take a drill bit, a quarter inch, and just use the mount as a template and drill your holes all the way around. I already went ahead and drilled my holes uh, previously, so you don't have to watch me do that. And once those are in, you're going to take uh, the bolts, the sex bolts, and you're going to take the female side which has a cylinder and you're going to want to put these from the top here and that's because uh, that way this cylinder will line up with this and, and your handle assembly and then there's no way that uh, you know once those are all together that this is really going to shimmy around at all. So go ahead and put them in. What I usually do is I drill one hole first and go ahead and put that together. And then I'll drill the hole in the opposite corner. Put that one in. And then I'll go ahead and just kind of continue that pattern all the way around. That way if you're drilling and you slip off a little bit, then um, you're not going to have alignment problems later because uh, you know once you drill and then screw these down, it's going to keep your your uh, mount nice and tight and flat to the to the handle assembly, and then you won't have to worry about uh, your holes not lining up later when you go ahead and put them together. So once we're all done, uh, it should look something like this. Uh, I would probably use Loctite on all those screws. That way uh, you'll never have to worry about um, you know, them loosening and coming out. So looks like this. Go ahead and take that out of the way. Bring our case back up. And we're gonna put it back on. Remember that this handle needs to come out. And slide it back in to lock it in there. And go ahead. So I use a screw gun to put all the screws back in, but remember that it's metal on plastic, so uh, I don't torque it all the way down. I leave a little room and then finish it off with a screwdriver. All right, go ahead and just hand tighten these. That way you don't strip out the metal and the plastic. And I'll assemble, it should look something like that. And then you can go ahead and take uh, Easy release plate that came with it. And helps you line it up. Goes on something like that. So I always keep uh, a digi base on one plate. And then uh, I have a second plate that I always keep a tripod plate on. So uh, either way, I always keep both of these inside my digi case. And uh, that way I have uh, either for. Uh, you know, a stand or for a tripod.